Hello friends, welcome to Edu Inspire channel. Today we will talk about how to calculate the square root of a number using the Sutra of Vedic Maths. The Sutra being used here is Vilokinam which means by mere observation. Before we go through the examples to understand how it works, let's go through the general rules of it. The number is arranged in two digit groups from right to left and if a single digit left over at the left is counted as a group by itself. If the number contains n digits then the square root will contain n slash 2 when n is even and n plus 1 slash 2 when n is odd digits. One or two digit number will have a square root of one digit and three or four digit number will have square root of two digits and so on. Unit digit of the perfect square number will always have one, four, five, six, nine or zero. A perfect square number cannot end in 2, 3, 7 or 8. If there are odd number of zeros at the end or right side of a number, then it will not be perfect square. Below is the relation between the unit digit of a perfect square number and the unit digit of its square root. If unit digit of the number is 1, then unit digit of square root is 1 or 9. If it is 4, then 2 or 8. If it is 5, then 5. If it is 6, then 4 or 6. If it is 9, then 3 or 7. If 0, then it is 0. Let's go through different examples to understand how it works. Let's take the example of calculating the square root of number 841. Here, digit at the unit place is 1. A square of 1 is 1 and the square of 9 is 81. Therefore, the unit digit of the square root will be 1 or 9. Ignoring the last two digits, that is 4 and 1. We will be left with only digit 8. The greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 8 is 2. So, for square root we get two numbers 21 and 29. Now, we have to figure out which one will be the actual square root of the number 841. Let's find out the number ending with 5 between 21 and 29 which is 25. The square of 25 becomes 6 to 5 using the sutra Eka Dikena Purvena. Here we see 841 is greater than 6 to 5. Therefore, the square root of 841 becomes 29. Now let's take another example that is 4, 3, 5, 6 and try to calculate its square root. Here, digit at the unit place is 6 and square of 4 is 16 and the square of 6 is 36. Therefore, the unit digit of the square root will be 4 or 6. Ignoring the last two digits, we will be left with 43. The greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 43 is 6. So, for square root we get two numbers 64 and 66. Now, we have to figure out which one will be the actual square root of the number 4356. Number ending with 5 between 64 and 66 is 65. The square of 65 becomes 4225 using the sutra Ekadhikena Purvena. 
here we see 4356 is greater than 4225 therefore the square root of 4356 becomes 66 now let's take another example that is 11449 and try to calculate its square root here digit at the unit place is 9 as the square of 3 is 9 and the square of 7 is 49 therefore the unit digit of the square root will be 3 or 7 ignoring the last two digits we will be left with 114 the greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 114 is 10 so For square root, we get two numbers, 103 and 107. Now we have to figure out which one will be the actual square root of the number 11449. Number ending with five between 103 and 107 is 105. The square of 105 becomes 11025. Here we see 11449 is greater than 11025. Therefore, the square root becomes 107. So here we saw using the Vedic math approach, calculating the square root of a number becomes very easy. We can use this methodology to calculate the square root of other numbers too. We hope. you would have liked this video for many more informative videos please subscribe our channel adu inspire and like and share the videos thank you